Hey guys, Barry from Marshall Music. This week I want to show you and talk about the, the brand spanking new Casio CDP-S100. Now you'll notice with this unit, with this keyboard, is very firstly is that it's very, very thin, which is stunning because it's what I like to call child-friendly, is that even children, not little children, but children should be able to pick it up and carry it. It's not light, light, but at the same time, you know, a 10-year-old, 11-year-old should be able to pick it up and carry it. Now, firstly, before we talk about anything else, let's talk about the fact that it's a full keyboard and it is a weighted piano. And I've got to tell you something, my favorite weighting in the whole electronic keyboard world is Casio. I think they are fantastic. I see that it is matte keys. Um, and it has a whole lot of sounds, which I'm going to go through now. We have firstly, a piano. Then we have, we can change that to a mellow. And we can change it again to a bright piano. And on top of all of that, it has electronic piano, one, two and three so it's like a phasey type piano it has a harpsichord it has strings watch out where you swim uh, pipe organ a jazz organ for all those jimmy smith type of people Now, if we get back to piano with one push of a button, we can go back to grand piano if we want that, so we don't have to dance around looking for different buttons to press. What I love about the Casio that I prefer this to all the other entry-level electronic pianos of other makes is the fact that everything is in front of me. It's very, very easy to use. One example would be Transpose. On quite a few other entry-level weighted keyboards, you have to look at the manual to work out how to use the Transpose function. Whereas on the Casio, I hold down function, I Transpose up, To, take, to get it back, just press them both together and the same goes for descending. And if I don't want to use touch response, say I want to use this with USB in a sequencer, all I do is I take off the touch response. So now I have different touch responses. which is absolutely amazing. The grand piano resets it again. And on top of that, I have a wonderful little metronome. And of course, with the metronome, as I'm sure you all know, I can change my tempo. I can also change the beat. So there, that makes it go a little bit faster. I can increase the volume of the metronome or make it softer. I can also change the type of beat that I want. And this gives me some preset metronome type of sounds and things. And metronome on or off. As I say to you, what I love about the Casio more than anything else is the ease of use. It has another very nice feature that the, its predecessor didn't have. If we look in the back of the keyboard, obviously we know that it has a. a it comes with a pedal, a, a sustained pedal. It also has your headphone socket, which is also doubling as a line out. And on top of that, it has audio in. So what you can do, if you want to jam to a backtrack, you can have it on your iPhone or your Android phone, plug it into here and play along to that, which is absolutely marvelous. Last but not least is that there's a, the, the Casio special for this is the fact that it comes with a free wooden furniture style stand. If you guys want to know more about this, come and pop into Marshall Woodmead and we can sit with it and go over it a little bit more in depth. Thanks a lot.